All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn intermediate CSS by building a cat painting. Step 10. All right. So we could see that nothing happens. Very true. Uh, the cat head class element did not move despite being a top and left, pardon me, despite setting a top and left of 100 pixels each. But that's not the case with relative positioning, believe it or not. When we use the relative value, the element is still positioned according to the normal flow of the document, but the top, left, bottom, and right values become active, right? So instead of the static, instead of having static set, we're gonna give our cat head class a position of a relative and leave both top and left properties as they are. All right, so basically we're just changing this to relative. So let's say relative like that. And you see now we've got 100 here and 100 here. So 100 to the left of the thing and 100 to the top of the thing. And there we go. All right, so let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 11 and see you next time.